Well, hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Galini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Anyway, I get lots of questions about Kraukland, and um, the one that seems to be kind of a common denominator is, how does buffered creatine, Kraukland, actually improve stability and overall results? Sometimes out there, you know, all the different creatine hype uh, is very confusing. Now let me get something straight. A product that has 35 ingredients in it, and one of them is creatine, you might have beta alanine, um, glycerol, you name it, caffeine, uh, arginine, taurine. That's not a creatine product. That's a pre-workout, that might be a post-workout, could be a weight gain. A creatine product is creatine by itself. My philosophy is if you've got to mix your creatine with anything else, that means it doesn't work. Um, Corealcalin is sold as a standalone. So you got to remember that creatine monohydrate is the granddaddy of all creatine, the most researched uh, over the years. Everyone knows it has a flaw. It is not stable once it hits solution. Instantaneously, it starts to convert to creatinine. Creatinine is a bio waste, it's toxic, it's not good for you. So you don't want to be ingesting creatinine when you're taking a creatine product. Crealcalin fixed that flaw, nothing more. Um, it's simple, yet very complex. So by alkalizing, buffering that creatine during the manufacturing process, I was actually able to get that conversion to creatinine to stop. Therefore, when you are taking crealcalin, you are ingesting a stable form of creatine. So that just makes sense that if you're starting with something stable, you've got more that will be delivered. If you're taking something that is starting to convert to creatinine, you're gonna have less that is delivered. Because of the stability, I also found that you don't need to load. You don't need to take these massive doses uh, of a creatine product. Crealcalin, 1.5 grams, two capsules, um, is a great dose. Now we've also learned over the years, since I uh, introduced this back in 2001, that every three hours, three and a half hours, you can replenish that 1.5 grams. So for people who are um, more professional in their athletic or their, uh, their training, um, or you are professional athletes, um, you can take a couple, two, three doses uh, a day, spaced out. The whole idea is that you're consistent, you use it every day. But for most of us who are just looking to uh, feel good, get into the gym, uh, 1.5 grams. Anyway, um, hope that answers uh, a lot of your questions about, you know, what makes Crealcalin buffered creatine uh, stable and what makes it different. Uh, anyway, you know what I like to say, uh, you should never buy a horse until you've rode it. So do not go buy Crealcalin until you've tried it. You heard me right. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't buy it until you try it. Send me an email. I'd love to send you some free uh, samples uh, to try out. And I don't care where you're at in the world. Um, I will get those samples to you. And you can always find Crealcalin almost anywhere in the world. And if you can't, uh, you can always email me direct and I'll find you a store. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.